What is going on you guys? Welcome back for another Borderlands 3 video. If you're new here, consider subscribing you guys. If you enjoy the video, a thumbs up will be appreciated. Now, I want to go over the Empowered Scholar, which is a boss fight in the new DLC, Guns, Love, and Tentacles. If you do not have it for Borderlands 3, actually I really recommend getting it. I love this DLC. I'm going to have kind of like a review on it later on, but it's actually my favorite over uh, Moxie's heist of the handsome jackpot uh, jackpot and to be honest like it's one of my favorite things in the game so far I'm really loving the setting and the vibe and honestly the characters and storytelling so far in this DLC are really great But we're not here to get into that I want to go over the empowered scholar and I want to show you guys It was on mayhem 4 and I solo ran the boss now a lot of people are gonna be able to do this I'm not saying I'm like some type of godlike player or anything like that But I beat this boss in five minutes doing this and which is pretty Pretty good considering he has stages right after you beat him in his first stage he has a second stage where um you have to shoot crystals once you break all these crystals you have to jump up on like these platforms unless you have a sniper to take it out then his armor is uh, i should say his shield excuse me his blue shield will start uh, rising unless you break the crystals in time then once you do the crystals and you bust them he'll come back down and then you're going to end up fighting him again until you make him go into his next stage and then he'll go to the other side and you have to like repeat that whole process of breaking the crystals again i have all the gameplay when i show you guys i'm not even going to talk i'm just going to show you the five minute gameplay it took me five minutes just to wipe him out i should have had him sooner i've actually refaced him before and i've got him in less time but i just haven't made extra recordings of it. This is what I recorded here. So um, if you have an ion cannon, that's actually going to help out a lot. But regardless of that, if you have um, a craps uh, handgun that you get from Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot DLC, I really recommend you guys get that handgun for this DLC. I have been just doing work on everyone with this. I put it on sticky and with my flak, I literally just tag people and it just melts them away, especially when I use fade away. Also, another good gun we all know is Maggie. You know, you want to get a Maggie, that is definitely another good weapon. You can get that <clears throat> from farming down in the cisterns. But um, like I said, you guys, I want to go over the Empowered Scholar. And I just want to show you guys, because a lot of people ask me, how do you even do it? They don't even know what to do. So this is kind of me posting up a video showing you guys just watch me how i played it and how i beat the boss and that's pretty much it i don't want to draw it out too long because it's already going to be like five six minutes of watching me face this boss i'm doing it as quick as possible but anyway if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below i hope this video helps you guys out by just watching me play this boss constantly move and this is on mayhem mode four so it's pretty difficult at times and they're very tanky he is a very tanky um boss so remember that but all right you guys i'm gonna throw it up right here i hope you enjoy and i will catch you guys all in the next video later outrun outlast feel the blood bus.
here for that man. You there. How are your last threats going? Come on! 